Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, um, this is my channel called Sherelle Thinks. I'm Sherelle and I talk about all things health anxiety related. Um, so in this video, I kind of want to address something that a lot of people ask me and that is how long does anxiety recovery take? And I always find it really difficult to answer that question because A, I don't feel like I'm fully recovered myself yet. And I just think it's such a personal question. There's so many variables and yeah. And some people will say to me like, you know, do you think anxiety can be cured? And I always feel like a real negative Nancy when I say that I don't necessarily think that there's a cure for anxiety. I think that anxiety is a innate part of being a human being. I think that we need a little bit of anxiety in our lives to keep us safe. Um, it's just about learning to manage it in a way that, you know, it's it's a kind of sensible anxiety, you know, being anxious about things that are genuinely a threat. Um, and I think that is what we should be striving for rather than trying to completely eliminate anxiety altogether, which I think would cause us more problems. Um, so in terms of recovery, I mean, look, it is a very personal thing and, you know, what might help me may not help you. So I know for me, like changing my diet to an anti-inflammatory diet has worked wonders for my anxiety. And I, I wonder whether my anxiety kind of stems from a gut health kind of uh, problem. If you can hear a snotty nose next to me, by the way, it's my, my little boy. He's drinking his milk. Um... Yeah, so it, it does really come down to what what your underlying sort of problem is. It may be that you had some trauma when you were young. It might be that, um, gosh, that you also suffer from insomnia and that's giving you anxiety. It could be that you have a slight hormonal imbalance, you know, or it could be the mental health and anxiety kind of problems run in your family. Um, so for me, changing my diet was definitely a, a game changer um also implementing mindfulness and gratitude practices into my day was really really beneficial um along with just like little things that I like invested in like a weighted blanket um you know supplements um you know some people have anxiety because they're low in b12 you know so there's just so many things so when people ask me that question like how long for recovery well I mean it kind of what I always say is that people should, rather than focusing on how long it's going to take, they should just really try and make changes that are likely to benefit them. So whether it's meditation, whether it's exercise, whether it's eliminating, oh bless you, uh, sugar um, from your diet, um, whether it is going out on nature walks, I think that's what we kind of need to be focusing on rather than like oh how long it's going to take and I think you know for a lot of people we just want to know that there is an end in sight like it's so exhausting so mentally draining physically draining feeling this way all the time that we just want to be told oh yeah you know three months time you're going to be feeling so much better but I would never want to be that person to say you know oh yeah in six months you'll be fine when it is such a personal personal journey um for me personally, I think like the last five months, I've really, really recovered and I've just felt so much better in myself mentally and physically. Um, but again, you know, and I have learned to kind of try and accept my anxiety for what it is. I think that ACT, which is acceptance commitment therapy, um, which is a bit like CBT, but it kind of focuses more on acceptance rather than trying to push your anxiety away. Um, it teaches people to learn to like deal with the what ifs, what ifs and to sit with that uncertainty, which is kind of like the core problem for a lot of us. We don't like that uncertainty. We don't like the unknown fears and the what ifs. So if we can learn to kind of try and sit with that unpleasant feeling and not be panicked by it, I think that is, that's the way we need to go. Um, and yeah, so if you like look into ACT, um, there's loads of books on Amazon you can buy that kind of explain it a lot better than I'll explain it. Um, but yeah, it's such a, you know, some people recover within a couple of weeks and so for some people it's a long ongoing journey and they have to deal with it, you know, for much of their lives, you know, and, and uh, I do think that 
learning to manage anxiety symptoms is definitely doable. I think it's something that we can all achieve if we, you know, have the right discipline, the right kind of motivation to do so. Um, I definitely think that's something that we can all all in, implement in our lives, you know, when maybe therapy will be completely healing for some people. It might be cognitive behavioural therapy. It might be talking therapy. It may, may be some different kind of therapy, a, a newer therapy. It may just be talking to your neighbour because just getting things off your chest can make you feel better. So you've really got to, like, try and internal like go internal and kind of know your triggers recognize the days where you feel good okay what did i do today oh i went on a walk okay maybe going on a walk makes me feel good i'm gonna do more of that and then do that for a week yeah definitely this is one thing that makes me feel better okay let's stick with that and then you know other things will pop up oh okay i've realized that my anxiety is a little bit bad when i have a glass of wine at night maybe i'll try and wean that down and that's what i did i just really kind of focused on myself for a couple of a couple of months really got to know myself better knew my triggers knew okay on the good days what did I do today that made me feel good and I just kind of have, have narrowed it down now that I know what I need to do to get through my day and to have a relatively anxiety free um day and 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 to me that is as good as anxiety recovery you know to me I feel like I am recovering um, I still have my wobbles and I think it's important to not beat yourself up when you have a bit of a wobble. It's completely normal to to have the odd panic, you know, we're human beings and we do, some of us do get symptoms that, you know, are sometimes scary. But it is 100% possible to live a happy life and live in harmony with anxiety. We can do it. We really can. You just have to put yourself first. You have to really, really focus on listening to your body really analyzing yourself to just like the analyze yourself the way that you analyze and, and research health conditions apply that kind of determination when you look at yourself and and learn yourself better because that is what's going to help you recover um yeah that is all i'm going to stop this video because the sun is so bright in my eyeballs Whew, and i'm all hot now um yeah uh, anything else I wanted to say? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, that's just my take on it. You know, somebody might say that what I just said was a load of nonsense. Um, but I will see you guys soon on my next video. I'm going to try and upload as, as frequently as possible. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not one of these YouTubers that do like, oh, you know, a video every Monday and Wednesday. I wish I could be that disciplined. But unfortunately, you know, with two little ones, I'm just not. But um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I have a Health Anxiety Facebook page. Um, it's called Health Anxiety Community. You can find us by just typing it into Google. Um, there's about 1,200 of us on there. So it's a relatively small group. Um, and we're, you know, like a really good um, good support system for people who just want to come on their event. I also offer health anxiety talking sessions. Um, they are an hour long each. They cost £15 um, and I try to do it cheap so that they're accessible to people. And it's just a chit chat with me, really. We can do it through um, through FaceTime, through WhatsApp. Um, some people just like phone calls. Some people just like to text for an hour. Just talk to somebody who really understands and really gets it and has been there. I can share my tips and share my own experiences and things like that. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.